Washington State University will be expanding its bear research and conservation facility for the arrival of a new cub this June. Pullman City officials say light poles like these are going to cost the city millions. If you need to talk with someone about suicide, depression, or abuse, you can come here to the Cougar Health and Wellness Center. If you don't feel like talking to someone in person, you can always call 1-800-273-TALK. Cougar Country Driving will be celebrating their 50th anniversary by giving back to the community that started it all. When Misha called, the trio packed up their cellos, left Kimborough Hall, and got on a plane for New York to play at the one and only Carnegie Hall. Pullman police officers are warning pedestrians to stay away from sidewalks if possible due to the icy conditions of the roads. Grocery store officials say their biggest issue isn't shoplifting. Instead, it's people hitting carts. Washington State University will be adding sweet treats just like these to their north side, hill side, and south side menus. Washington State University students are voicing their anger about the Sparks thing we can lock door policy. January 16th, 2018 a day many Washington State Cougars will never forget, the day Tyler Helinski took his own life. You know, we realized that um, if it could happen to Tyler, right, it could happen to anybody, and we didn't want anyone to experience what we've gone through, this terrible pain. For that reason, Kim and her husband established Helinski's Hope Foundation. But, you know, seeing what happened and the, the overwhelming support of the community and the entire campus was something that really spoke to me. It showed like, hey, this is, this is something that should be talked about. This is something that should not be ignored. And ultimately, that's the goal of Holinsky's Hope, and that's what we want to try to um, advocate for with the organization. People from all around the Palouse came out on Sunday, October 11th, to run three miles, honor Tyler, and to help raise awareness about mental health issues and to help erase the stigma surrounding it. Yeah. Tyler's legacy is not only remembered by his family, but instead it is shared with the entire Washington State community. Um, Tyler is a good friend of mine and I had a lot of classes with him and so I try and support Helinski's Hope as much as I can. Um, I buy the wristbands, the t-shirts, um, and I wanted to do this event because it was benefiting Helinski's Hope. Although Tyler is gone now, Kim has a message she wants to share with others. I just, I, I want to thank the team, the football team, and the coaches for keeping Tyler with them this year and remembering him and allowing Tyler to inspire them. Carissa Slater, Mario News 8. Washington State University and its faculty have been invested in bees for a long time. I, I started keeping bees in 1975. And the university plans to invest even more. We, we provide them queens. They then make tens of thousands of queens for sale. Uh, we do um, research on uh, the, smoke a little the evolution of honeybees. We're doing research on uh, the use of alternative means to control parasites and pests. Ken and Sue Christensen donated $1 million to fund more research in a new facility. The researchers are doing great things in really, um, I, I don't want to say poor conditions, but they could be much more efficient and um, do much more in a more state-of-the-art facility as well as kind of all being together and, and not spread out over multi-site. Approximately 60 hives just like these sit all around campus. Four different research labs, including one in Yakima, conduct all the research. But this new donation will help a new facility be built just right behind me. We we were looking at giving back to WSU and in, in the science and the dedication and the hard work of uh, the, the uh, beekeepers as, as well as the researchers at WSU. So, And to be able to do it right here in Pullman will be a big uh, improvement. Carissa Slater, Morrow News 8.